Today, a historic and unprecedented moment took place in the middle of a packed hospital lobby. A couple in love, there to fight cancer, vowed to fight through the rest of life's struggles together by saying, I do. Our Shelby Danielson is at the UF Proton Therapy Institute in Jacksonville with a special story. Well, imagine coming in here to get rid of a tumor, but leaving here with a bride. She's looked after me for so long, for the four years. So it's, this is her day. And she deserves this day. So for me, to see her coming down, and she, I felt proud. In sickness and in health, these words have never rang so true as they did for Dave Leak and Bobby Godden on Wednesday morning. In February of 2014, Dave was diagnosed with sacral chordoma, a rare form of cancer in the spine. After surgery to remove the tumor, it grew back. He had it removed again in January. The couple of 13 years and their two kids then traveled from England to the first coast to receive radiation to prevent it from growing back again. The fight has enlightened them on love. The love and everything else here, it starts giving you a bit of a different outlook on life. And there is someone over there watching over you, making this day happen. And then obviously meeting so many lovely people in Jacksonville. Changed by what they describe as an atmosphere of kindness. They wanted to pass it on. I feel that we've uplifted people. You know, everybody who comes here is calling one way or another. While this wasn't in the plans, we just kept joking around, but it is the right thing to do. Neither was it's cancer. Right. That chapter's ended, and we're going home with a new chapter. We've been through every high, every low, and if you can fight through that, then you can fight through anything. We celebrated wedding bells in this lobby today, but in a few weeks, these bells will ring out because that will signify the end of his cancer treatment here, and they'll return to the UK as a married couple. For First Coast News, I'm Shelby Danielson on your side.